Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin in the Woods. It is the morning of day 30 and the first thing I want to do is spend some skill points. We have six of them and I'm going to put all six into intellect. That will max out intellect so the next time we level up we can max out robotics inventor and that will allow us to deploy two turrets at the same time. And my thought process there is not to deploy two shooting turrets but to deploy one shooting turret and one sledgehammer turret, maybe by the front door or something like that. So that's the plan for tonight. As of right now, we need to get all of this repair and upgrading work done before we can leave. This way we're not scrambling to do it before the horde shows up. So let's get all this stuff done. It shouldn't take too long. Then we're gonna go grab this treasure chest that's over by Jen's place, then go see Jen. We'll check her vending machine and we'll also see if she has any supplies that we could use like steel or iron or concrete then we got to cruise down south because we need oil shell we're completely out of gasoline and we can't just keep scraping by with no gas we're running low on molotovs we need gasoline so we'll cruise down south we'll mine some oil shell and iron and we'll also go see rick do the same thing see if he has any supplies on hand that we can use and then at that point, we'll just see what time it is. If we can squeeze in some looting, we will. Otherwise, we'll just cruise back here and get ready for a fight. Here we go, 9.30, that's not too bad. Definitely a later start than we usually get, but that's just the way it's gonna be moving forward. We're gonna end up fighting the hordes into the morning hours and get a later and later start every day, but that's fine with me. I'm just happy to still be here doing our thing on day 30. So let's go grab this treasure chest, then we'll go see Jen, and we'll cruise down south. This thing's in like the middle of the road here. To try and possibly avoid screwing up the road, I'll start digging over here, but if we got to fuck up the road, then that's what we got to do. Oops. Now well, so much for not fucking up the road. Here we go. Oh shit, I forgot to bring lockpicks. Um, let's go see Jen. Maybe she has some for sale. If not, we could use our pickaxe to get in there. But, you know, with limited time today, I'd rather use a lockpick. That's the most valuable resource in this game. It's not oil, it's not iron, it's not ammo, it's time. We all have the same limited amount, especially when you're playing at 60 minute days. A lot of people like to play at 120 minute days. I call those people cheaters. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've said that before and so many people got butt hurt. Look, if you like playing at 100, if I wasn't recording this for your amusement, I'd be playing at 120 minute days too. It makes the game much more relaxing. Damn, look at all this coin we have. She's got steel, but it's just so damn expensive. Even with all the coin we have, I feel like a, I'm getting robbed if I buy that shit. Uh, oh, here are the lockpicks. Beautiful. Take all 15 of those. Even the iron is expensive, just because I know how easy it is to craft. Ooh, shotgun shells. How'd I miss those? And I'll buy the AP uh, Magnum ammo now. And, oh, lucky looter book. Find more lead in loot. Shotgun auto turret. That's tempting, but those things trigger the uh, demolishers button pretty easily and that's something I'm going to try to avoid doing um all right fuck it I guess we should buy the steel right I mean that's what we came here for let's just do it Thanks all right Jen I'll catch you later We're open from dawn to dusk. let's read this book now let's go uh crack into that treasure chest and we'll cruise down south 
Go get some oil shale iron. Go see Rick. And uh, that's probably going to be it for today. It's already hour 11. We'll see. Nice. Look at all that shit. A whole bunch of coin, silver and gold that we can sell to Rick. And a few diamonds. I was thinking we should probably just sell the diamonds, but I've been holding on to them so we can make diamond tip blade mods and what those do is basically give your tools or weapons a higher durability I don't even remember if we know the recipe for that mod I should check later and if we do know it we should craft some of those I guess I'll buy the rock buster since we're going to be using one of those today and we actually have a piece of eye candy and skull crusher candy at home Forgot to use the Skull Crushers last night. We'll use it tonight. And we'll use the eye candy after the horde while collecting the loot bags. Man, look how cheap these blade traps are. I'm going to buy both of them. Fuck it. I wasn't going to use a blade trap tonight, but now we'll use two of them. What the hell is this trip wire? What does that do? Set off a trap? I don't know. See, I don't, I don't know much about traps, man. I just don't use them. I'm not a traps guy. I would rather just fight it out. You know what I mean? If I was Kevin McAllister, I wouldn't have booby-trapped my whole house. I would have just grabbed the biggest knife I can find, and when Marv stuck his head through the doggy door, I would have buried that shit in his neck. <laughs> That's Home Alone in New Jersey. Oh, look, here's another Lucky Looter book we didn't read. Find more food and loot. I'll grab that. We gotta be getting close to reading that entire set. And here's more shotgun shells that I missed, apparently. Maybe we should go see the snow trader. He's probably got a bunch of shit I missed also, but I don't think we got time it's been today to do that. There. Got a coyote over there. We should probably just shoot him before we start mining. He's definitely going to wind up sneaking up on us. Got a zombie. Oh, shit. Another one. Sneaking up behind me. Always when I'm working. go ahead and take these two cars apart and plus I haven't even searched this area yet so let's do that uh, this way we have some gasoline on us right now that birds flying away oh he's back now fucking bird trying to be sneaky that's what you get this fire guy oh you bastard made me hit my own Jeep uh, but anyway I want to have some gasoline oh look there's a challenge in the background Whatever that is, we'll go do it once we take these cars apart. But I want to have some gas on me when we get home because I need to use that for the auger because I want to break a couple of blocks out of the cabin up behind the steel um, hatches that we set up. And I'm going to put an iron door there. This way we have a way to escape if we need to. You know, like, look at all the bullshit that happened to us in the last episode during the Horde fight when the stairs got taken out. I couldn't leave. I had to wait until the front doorway was clear. So this way we'll have an escape door up where we're standing. So if the stairs get taken out or for whatever reason, we can always just bail out. So let's see what we got here. Uh, nurses. All right, let's do it. Jeez. Look at this fire guy running over here wanting a piece of the action. I keep forgetting that I set the zombie day speed to run.
Well, I guess we better go turn on this battery bank. That'll get the electric fence going and get these blade traps fired up. We gotta be careful not to back up into that one. I, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Got an electric fence and a blade trap outside the front door. I'm assuming that's gonna slow the zombies down. Comes a dog, and someone's getting electrocuted already. Here we go. The, uh, I, I wasn't sure where to put the, um, electric fence posts. But they're not far off from the front door, which means they're probably going to get destroyed relatively quick, but seems to be working just fine. Look at this. They're all getting chopped up. I mean, I hardly have to do anything. Oh, there goes the electric fence. Well, that didn't last long. Shit. That seemed like it was working, though. I'm going to have to figure out a better place to put those, because they're pretty cheap to make. And with me shooting out the front door here, I'm not sure if I'm doing damage to the blade trap or not. I mean, I'm not hitting, like, the main, the center of the thing, but I'm definitely hitting the blades when I shoot out the door here. But whatever, I didn't expect that blade trap by the front door to last long anyway. Oh, they broke through the bars. All right, we better go. I'm curious to see if this sledge turret's gonna do much. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't trigger any demolisher buttons if they end up showing up tonight. But it's too late now. Let's get some fire going. a good amount of cops showing up tonight. A couple of them blew up down there. I'm sure that's what destroyed the blade trap, but that thing was spinning for quite a while. Kind of impressed. Definitely worked better than the last night's blade trap. Oh, another cop blew up down there. The cops don't do too much damage to blocks when they blow up, so that's good. Well, concrete and steel blocks anyway. Um, a demolisher, now that's a different story. Demolisher blows up in here. It's gonna be some destruction. Uh, but you know, I was thinking of a better way to use the electric fence post instead of just putting it outside of the front door and having it getting destroyed in the first 30 seconds. What if we put one up here with us behind the bars 
and then the other one kind of across the way here so the electric fence is running alongside the steps so as they're falling off the steps they're getting electrocuted that might be more effective and with the uh, electric posts out of reach they shouldn't get destroyed so if we make it through tonight that's something we'll have to try tomorrow shit. Don't you explode. Don't explode. Alright, he's dead. Now he's just gonna be in my way, though. Oh, I got his head out of the way. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize they destroyed one set of bars already. I better make sure these aren't gonna fail. Oh, they almost were gonna. This is not good. This is still a giant horde. They are definitely gonna break through these bars tonight. I mean, I'll try to keep up with repairing them, but that's going to be tough, especially with all these cops showing up. Holy shit, man, this is a mess. This is an absolute fucking mess. Let's get up here and just pop these steel hatches open before something real crazy happens. Let's get some fire down there. Oh, of course. At least I remember drink tonight. So we can put the fire out. Only have one more Molotov, though. Well, that's a way better place to throw the Molotovs. Holy shit. Cops are blowing up. They're through the bars. This is an absolute disaster. Good thing I put that escape door in. Because we might have to use that thing tonight. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. They're all blowing up. Oh boy. Here comes a demolisher. For the first time. Um, maybe, here we go. Uh, I'm going to use the club. We'll see if we can hit him in the head. Oh, there he goes. Oh, uh, jeez, I hope that sledge turret doesn't trigger his ass. Oh, shit. There's some more junk turret ammo would be nice right about now. Let's see if we can take out this demolisher real quick. And this cop. Come on. Oh, shit. Not good. Here comes another demolisher. I'm gonna try and hit him in the head. Oh, did he fall or did he go down? I don't know. Really like to avoid having another one blow up in here though. See if we can get some melee work in for a minute. Damn spider monkey. Dude, that's what sucks about this hatch setup. All right, that hatch has still got a decent amount of life. So I'm not too worried about it. Plus, we have another steel hatch we can pop up. But, yeah, that that that's what sucks about the hatch setup is that I can't shoot through them. But, for some reason, the spider monkeys can hit me through them. Wow. It's so fucking dumb, man. I should have used, uh... I should have just used bars on the bottom and hatches on the top. Whatever. Too late now. Alright, this is not too bad. They're definitely not gonna break through both of these steel hatches. We gotta be getting close towards the end of the horde. I drank a recog, so our range damage is uh, is buffed right now, and I think we're looking all right. Oh, we got Mo. Crawling down there. Oh, shit. Thought I just killed him. Now he's dead. All right, I think this is pretty much it right here. We got a zombie stuck down there in that hole that was created when the demolisher blew up. And he's just working on the floor. 
Let's go get him. I think he's it. Hey, Kenny. Fuck. Off. Is that it? Wow, dude. The stairs are intact. That's a good thing. That's some repair work that's going to have to happen right here. But uh, not bad. I made 100 rebar frames last night. And we only used like less than 20 this morning to repair. So we got plenty of rebar frames left. We have plenty of concrete. We can definitely get all these repairs done uh, in the morning without any problems. And, uh, oh shit. What was that? There's a zombie somewhere. Beating on something. Uh, oh shit, this hatch is broken and there's a radiated zombie down here. Motherfucker, you little bastard. Get away from my storage. Oh shit, that's not good. There's a couple of loot bags down here. Plus the one this spider monkey just dropped. Oh boy. A little bit of repair work to do down here also, it looks like. And, um... I'm going to have to add another hatch, obviously, to the top of uh, the bunker. And what I'll probably do is make a another steel hatch instead of keeping it an iron hatch up there. Because I don't want any more zombies falling down here, that's for sure. Let me, uh, I'm just unloading a bunch of shit right now so we can get up there and pick up the rest of the loot. I'll get it organized. I'll get all of my repairing materials together. And what the fuck? Oh, is this ladder broken? It is. How to repair this ladder. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab the rest of this loot, get it organized, get all of my repair stuff together, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 31. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin in the Woods, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.